Whoever does not miss the Soviet Union has no heart. Whoever wants it back has no brain. Those who fight corruption should be clean themselves. Sometimes it is necessary to be lonely in order to prove that you are right. I have a private life in which I do not permit interference. It must be respected. Terrorism has no nationality or religion. Stalinism is linked with a cult of personality and massive violations of the law, with repression and camps. There is nothing like that in Russia and, I hope, will never again be. One has to be insincere and promise something which you cannot fulfill. So you either have to be a fool who does not understand what you are promising, or deliberately be lying. My personal position is that society must keep children safe. We need business to understand its social responsibility, that the main task and objective for a business is not to generate extra income and to become rich and transfer the money abroad, but to look and evaluate what a businessman has done for the country, for the people, on whose account he or she has become so rich. Everything will probably never be okay. But we have to try for it. I was brought up in a very ordinary family, in fact, a worker's family. Both my father and mother were ordinary citizens. I don't read books by people who have betrayed the motherland. If you aspire to be a leader of your own country, you must speak your own language, for God's sake. I think the international community should unite to fight such inhuman phenomena as terror attacks and the murder of totally innocent people. The ability to compromise is not a diplomatic politeness toward a partner but rather taking into account and respecting your partner's legitimate interests. Russian democracy is the power of the Russian people with their own traditions of national self-government and not the realization of standards foisted on us from outside. The more intermediaries there are, the more problems there are. Political activities in Russia should be as transparent as possible. Financing political activities from abroad is something the state should keep an eye on. Politics should not interfere with sports and sports should impact politics. Terrorism has once again shown it is prepared deliberately to stop at nothing in creating human victims. An end must be put to this. As never before, it is vital to unite forces of the entire world community against terror. I think every person should have some faith inside him, in his heart. What matters is not an external display of this faith, but the inner state of the soul. You need to put drones under control, you need to lay out certain rules of engagement in order to prevent or minimize collateral casualties. It is extremely important. How does one control weight? By not overeating. How does one stay in shape? One plays sports. There are no magic pills here. You must obey the law, always, not only when they grab you by your special place. I am the wealthiest man, not just in Europe, but in the whole world. I collect emotions. I am wealthy in that the people of Russia have twice entrusted me with the leadership of a great nation such as Russia. I believe that is my greatest wealth. No one should be allowed to violently trample on the law. In the modern world, those who are weak will get unambiguous advice from foreign visitors which way to go and what policy course to pursue. A considerable share of the world's population still cannot afford comfortable housing, education and quality health care. The Eurasian Union is a project meant to preserve the identities of nations and the historic Eurasian community in the new century, in a new world. 
It is necessary to suppress any extremist actions on all sides, regardless of their origin. It is wrong to make anyone into an enemy. It is wrong to scare the people of one's own country with that enemy and try to rally some allies on that basis. If you want my personal attitude, I would tell you that I don't care about a person's sexual orientation. Protest actions and propaganda are two slightly different things. If the nation is not capable of preserving itself and reproducing, if it loses its vital bearings and ideals, then it doesn't need foreign enemies, it will fall apart on its own. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that in Russia, unlike in one third of the world's countries, being gay is not a crime. Terrorists are always a threat to someone. If we'll be scared of them, it means they have won. History proves that all dictatorships, all authoritarian forms of government are transient. Only democratic systems are not transient. Whatever the shortcomings, mankind has not devised anything superior. I have never stated Russia is an energy superpower, but we have more reserves than almost anybody else. We have always behaved, and we will continue to behave in a responsible way. We intend to participate in the elaboration of common rules in the energy sector and to abide by rules which are developed together. Above all, such sports as judo, in my view, teach people to relate to each other. They teach us to respect a partner, teach us to understand that an externally weak partner can not only put up worthy resistance, but, if you relax and take too much for granted, may even win. The point of conservatism is not that it prevents movement forward and upward, but that it prevents movement backward and downward into chaotic darkness and a return to a primitive state. I am never guided by a possible assessment of my work. We are all different, but when we ask for the Lord's blessings, we must not forget that God created us equal. I have a very positive attitude to anyone who is protecting the environment, but it's inadmissible when people are using it as a means of promoting themselves using it as a source of self-enrichment. I don't want to name any specific examples, but often, environmentalism is used to blackmail companies. The state security bodies should not be seen as an institution that works against society and the state. One needs to understand what makes them work against their own people. Despite all the achievements of civilization, the human being is still one of the most vulnerable creatures on earth. We don't need a weakened government, but a strong government that would take responsibility for the rights of the individual and care for the society as a whole. I would prefer to abandon the terminology of the past. Superpower is something which we used during the Cold War time. Why use it now? The task of the government is not only to pour honey into a cup, but sometimes to give better medicine. The philosophy of FIFA is to expand world soccer space, to spread out the world football space. Indeed, Russia and the US were allies during the two tragic conflicts of the Second and the First World Wars which allows us to think there's something objectively bringing us together in difficult times, and one think, one believe it has to do with geopolitical interests and also has a moral component. 